How's it going? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make that classic auto visualizer you see all the time on YouTube. This is something you would normally make in After Effects. And it's quite easy in After Effects, but of course not everyone can pay for After Effects or even has it. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Blender with a simple add-on. It's practically one click to make it. So let's get into it. Just a heads up before we get into the tutorial, I have 10 new materials up on the Patreon. So you can go in the description, click the link, and you can join the Patreon and get your hands on these materials here. We have loads of stuff, exclusive tutorials. I show my client work and I give weekly project files. So you can go check that out in the description if you'd like. And let's get into the tutorial. So we're going to be opening up Blender 2.82 here and let's go ahead. Now, before I show you how to install the add-on, I'd like to just quickly show you how it works because that's the coolest part. So you can hop over to this tab right here and you're gonna see Bizualize or something. I can't really pronounce that word, but it's gonna be located right here once you install the add-on. And then right here, you go and find the audio, which right here is just called audio for me. And then you just keep these at the default. I use radial, generate, and then you'll see it do its little calculations. And then once you're done, you have it. It's as simple as that. It's so easy and we have some really cool parameters. So let me show you how to install the add-on and then I'll show you how to make that design. To get the add-on, you're going to click the link in the description and download the zip file. Then you'll go to edit, preferences, and then on install, you'll go to wherever you saved it and then you'll double click this and then you'll see it show up right here. Click on the check mark and then when you click over here, you'll see it available. Again, find the audio you want. So that's right here double clicked it. Now you can go and play with the bar width, bar count. You're going to have to play around with it to, to how you like it. Now I like it at the default settings. It looks really good. I just like to click radial um, and then the bar color. You can change that later, but we're going to be making our own material. So generate the visualizer. So there it is. Now it's going to be really, really big. If you just type in, I mean, you put in one of the uh, primitives, you can see it's massive. So what I like to do is just delete that highlight everything and just make him a lot smaller and then control a and apply the scale all right now this is just like a normal mesh you can apply modifiers anything you want to it so i'm going to hit z rendered view and then i'm in cycles here so i'm going to switch over to eevee and i'm going to give it a new material so i'm going to delete the default one click new make it an emission material sorry that's glass so an emission material I'm gonna give it a strength of six maybe, and we will make it a nice blue. Now, hit A to select everything, Control L, and hit materials, and all those materials are applied. So I'm gonna hit the tilde key, go to the very top, and I'm gonna hit Shift A, go to the camera, and hit Control Alt Zero, snaps it to view, and I'm gonna hit G, middle click, and scale out till this guy is in my full view. Now, when you press play, there's no actual audio playing, uh, so to fix that, you hit the plus icon up here, video editing, and then make sure you're all the way at uh, frame one. Add, sound, pick your audio, and then now you can listen to it. So it's right there. Now let's go back to layout and we can watch it. So that's really cool. I'm going to take my camera and hit G and sort of center everything out. So now we have this guy just playing. And it's simple as that. We're going to go make our world brightness zero. So I'm just going to delete the audio so I don't have to keep hearing that. Um, and we'll just look at the design. So what I'm going to do is make those spheres that are going to be around it for that design. So we're going to get an icosphere, scale it up, subdivide it. Um, a little bit and then I'm gonna take in another icosphere and I'm gonna hit G to bring him over there and then we'll just subdivide him once we'll add a particle system right over here make it hair on render go to object and on instance object we're gonna go all the way down here and find our icosphere so now we have the icosphere I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in a displace and I'm gonna put the displace above the particle system and then new add in a simple cloud a simple clouds texture depth all the way down pretty big scale right about this so that's going to look pretty good and then the last thing I'm going to do is just add in a wireframe wireframe modifier bring that bring that all the way down to zero so we can't see it and then scale this up like this go back 
play with scale randomness, bring that scale all the way down and go to rendered view and go click on the, the particle and add in that emission material we used. Last thing I'm gonna do is add some depth of field to the camera. So click on the camera, click depth of field, and then a focus object, just click one of the bars, and then we're gonna bring the blades up, bring the f-stop down, tell you like how soft it is, and we'll just go and check out the animation, and then we'll bring down on the particle system however many you want, because that's too many to play with. Last thing I'm going to do is animate the displacement on the sphere so that the particles actually move. So we're going to add in an empty plane axis and then we're going to click on just one of the particles to get the whole thing selected and then go over here to the displace modifier, go to object and select and select the empty. And so what happens is when we when you rotate the empty here, say on the Z axis, you're going to see these guys move around. So I'm gonna go over here and uh, click the keyframe on the rotation, go all the way till it stops, so right about there, and then do something like that. Hit their keyframe, just however fast you want your guys to be moving, and then you can see them moving in your animation. And there you go, that's how you make a very simple audio visualizer in Blender. You can go crazy with your design, you can do literally anything you want, change the camera angle, all that stuff. I just showed you a very simple setup. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something.